Should I say welcome back? Start, um, streaming more. I am streaming The Evil Within, or rather I am continuing The Evil Within. This will be the third part of it. And, uh, because usually that kind of makes, uh, things a little bit more interesting. Anyway. Okay, so, share chats them all right all right there we go So, they'll join, but hey, let's go and uh, let's go see. All right. I think this is my game. See, the thing is, I started a game, um, like, for, like, I started a game, like, to play the PS4 version myself, so, And uh, I get confused between which one is which. So let's see. Upgrade a couple things. One time I got, in the PS3 version, there's one spot where you get like 750 um, in green gel. And uh, just making sure, by the way, just coming back here to make sure I don't have any keys. Um, and uh, like every time I empty it out, I still have 50 green gel. Yeah, I'm out of keys. Is that all? Okay. If I seem at all rusty, it's because I am. viewers. That's nice. All right. All right. Gonna deal with this crap. Kidman! 
Get me out of this thing! Wait a minute. It's another trap. Look. <laughs> it's much more loud. <laughs> Joseph, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I think you'd better get down here. Hold on, I'm coming. Shit, let's hurry it up! I just released... I guess I can wait until after to get all the green gel. Oh, that was a How many of these things are there? Right, so. Oh, that was a bad idea too. I'm just getting used to playing this. I I'm just starting to play this game again, so. Shotgun ammo behind me, so you're dead. Oh. Well, let's see. Let's see if I can get some to run towards me. Let's see if I can get some to. Wait, hold on. Oh, shit. Do you have any first aid? Yes, I do. I've still got a little fight left in me. Damn. I was about to shoot Joseph. Watch out! We've got dynamite! Oh no. Alright, so I think. Yeah. If it was one of my Come friends, on. though, there'd be comments by now. Okay. Sebastian, they're above us. Still something nearby. Come on! More of them on the move. Don't be a hero. Back off. Big boy. Yes. You got lucky on that. And I think I see. Again.
close. You better come have a look at this. Yeah, I know. The timer isn't going to start until... Uh, the timer for her isn't going to start that I know of until, like, a minute from... Until I actually go take a look at what he wants me to take a look at. So, I should be good. Alright. So, after that, I should be good on health for the time being. Alright. Anything else around here? Now I gotta take a look at this. Oh, hearts. Oh wait, I'm full. That's a grenade and I'm all full. I can't get the thing open. I think there's another control panel around here. We're running out of time. Where do these cables go? I'll go. Tell me what to do. By the way, There's another control panel around here. Uh, oh. Right. <laughs> Look at the control panel. It's got the same kind of dials, right? Yeah, a top one and a bottom one. Set the upper dial to 22 and the lower dial to 5. That looks like 22. 22 and on top and 5 on the bottom. There you go. Are you all right? I think all the monsters have despawned from the area. And by the way, there is a uh, statue in here. actually gone through this area so I don't I don't know whether there's extra stuff in here or not I actually mainly came back to this area for the uh, I knew the statue was in there
But there are some rooms back here. Hang on, I'm coming. To investigate. If you got a little lag, it's on my end. So I just got the little message saying that internet connection is insufficient. Whenever that I see that actually happening, I usually um, try to uh, stop what I'm doing if at all possible until that message goes off. I'm telling you, there are some parts that come later on in this game that I'm not looking forward to whatsoever, but I'll do them. Oh wait, there's one little other room over here. I haven't gotten yet. Matches. Matches are always useful, so we'll take them. Where'd they go? I just like to check around the area just in case. Um, the hell? Okay. Burning enemies is, like, if you don't get a headshot on certain enemies, then sometimes burning them will, uh, sometimes, if you don't, let's just say if you don't see their head explode, usually means they're not dead. Gel. I knew it, I knew taking the lower road here would result in some sort of reward. And again there's green gel and ammo here. So in that case you probably should probably take go both ways. I mean with that, not other things.
bad. It's not good. Yes, I did make fire. Turns out, um, burning the bodies of enemies is all actually right. we're all right. Just a few bumps, we're fine. A main feature in this game. Uh, let's see. I'm fine right now, as far as uh, as far as health goes. Matches, on the other hand, not so great. <sighs> My opinion, one of the hotter girls in gaming. Let's see, uh... It looks like the door's locked from the other side. Sebastian, maybe we can lift this enough for Kidman to go under and open it from the other side. We're counting on you. All right. The one that just went under the, uh, the door. She's better looking in the second game, I think. But let's get going. We should go. No. I'm playing it as a dude. Walking behind her. I'm glad you're both all right. It's odd, though. Why would they catch you instead of just killing you? Maybe he didn't see me as a threat. He? This is my least favorite enemy in this game, by the way. Another one of those doors. Which is the reason why a save point is great right here, just so you can be prepared for whatever. <laughs> Detective Sebastian Castellanos and Detective Myra Hansen joyfully request the pleasure of your company at their wedding celebration. Saturday, the 17th of September, 2005, at half past 12, the Veranda, the Veranda Hotel, Crimson City, Reception to follow. Well, you know that music is actually Claire de Lune. It's an old piece of music. I actually like it in some strange way. Anyway, check out how we save the game. Sebastian, have you forgotten something? Check out the newspaper. Missing parishioner found. Yeah, it is creepy here. Missing parishioner found in mental hospital. These, claim, uh, these claims are absolutely outrageous. Parishioner Fernando Carbera, missing for eight for eight years, found committed in Beacon Mental Hospital, claims Parish was cult. Missing. Fernando Carbera, same guy we just read about. Psychiatric patient escaped from Beacon Mental Hospital. He is seriously ill and it is neat and it, and in need of constant supervision. Nice. I got a key, I think. So, come back here. 
By the way, what was the foreshadowing? I didn't get that. Okay. Hopefully, yes. Ah, I get it. So, this is how we upgrade our abilities in this game. Uh, let's see. Definitely. Uh... setting of this one is, um, I would say it varies, really. It goes from, uh, demented, broken down old mental hospitals to, uh, um, to creepy caverns to, damn, uh, It goes, I think it goes just about anywhere that might fit in with a horror film. It probably goes there. So, yeah, an abandoned asylum. Um, creepy gothic castles. Um, like a cult's lair underneath a cathedral. Oh, it's set in the present day. At least when the game came out, that was 2014. Characters are Sebastian Castellanos, a cop, um, who basically he's also a drunk. Yes, the old, uh, that uh, invitation was old. It was to him and his wife's wedding. To answer your next question, no, the girl that was with the girl that was with them just a few minutes ago, that was not his wife. His wife disappeared. Damn. All right. If you're asking right now, this is the save. This is called the safe haven. I have my own little private room back here. There's no, basically no point in going into the room other than the fact that sometimes you wake up in it. Uh, forgot the nurse's name. Save the game right here, you get keys. Sebastian's wedding, yes. Sebastian and at the time he married his uh, like he was partnered up with a, a girl and he fell in love with her they got married and because of their relationship they couldn't work together as partners anymore um, but anyway she started um, anyway let's just say for the time being she has disappeared
All right. For the time being, that is. She has disappeared. Oh my god. No, actually, he just got t tangled up in some mess to where he doesn't even call to a, a murder scene one day, potentially multiple homicides, shows up to, I'm not sure. I think that was just telling you that they got married. Because um, in previous notes in the game, they showed where they uh, um, they showed where uh, how they met and whatnot. And well, oh boy. Okay, so trap. The invite was just, so the invite was there just to let you know that essentially, essentially that they got married. I should not have burned those. Yeah, I was saying about the homicides, um, they answer the call to multiple homicides, and all of a sudden he finds himself in a strange world where he's, um, more or less in this creepy butcher shop, and he has, has to escape from this creepy butcher shop. Well, that wasn't scary at all. Um, and uh, basically, he has to find his way from there. He knows his partners were with him. There's actually a side story, sort of like a, in one of the DLCs, actually shows how he gets involved in the situation in the first place. Um, technically they're called Haunted. Um, like I said, uh, if you read my message, this entire game is about being trapped in this alternate reality of sorts. Damn. Um, so, technically, everybody in it, um, these are essentially the creations of a serial killer. All of the um, monsters, they're essentially everything in this game comes from the brain. Somehow, this serial killer's brain infested this... Um, what's called the stem system. Well. Freeze bolts. Those are actually helpful. So everything in the game, uh, let's just say... His, one of his partners accidentally um, let's just say accidentally 
gets him and his other partner involved. And let's just say she didn't mean to. Okay, yeah, it's Julie Kidman, the one that I said is really hot. Yeah, it's her. She gets her and his, uh, she gets, I mean, him and his partner Joseph involved. And uh, let's just say they are test subjects for this, um, for this company that are trying to, trying to, uh, that it's essentially, this company is, this corporation is essentially hell-bent on world domination and what, how they're going to dominate the world by control, by essentially controlling people's minds by somehow hooking them to a virtual reality system. Don't even ask how that's... Well, she kind of tries to do right later on, by the way. Oh, what? Um... Oh, shit. Okay. So... I'm going to have to manage. So. Sometimes, yes. Technically, she went in to working for this company without even knowing what they were all about. And turns out when she find out, finds out what they're all about, they say they're trying to change the world. Well, when she finds out what they're all about and she finds... And yes, I'm hesitant to go to that side of the room for a reason, okay? Um, all right. Come on out! <clears throat> oh, crap. Fire. Fire seems to work. By the way, that was Laura. Yes, she has a name. And yeah, basically, they're a they actually have some rather... Uh oh, crap. Really? Time for some weird-ass target practice. Is it clip? It's clipping through the... Alright. Thank God. There we go. It's a goddess statue. If you break the goddess statue, it has a... Uh, it has a, um, a key in it. If you saw me go in a room full of lockers earlier, or not lockers, but safes earlier, yeah, that's a key to one of the safes. Uh. A crow. Yeah, somebody, um, yeah, the... going into this fight without matches. Oh, Alright. See if I can do this. I heard there's a health glitch, so maybe I can use that to my advantage. This! And she just killed me. <laughs> she just killed me. <laughs>
I hate this part of the game. All right, so. You can kill her with normal weapons, but it's also it's kind of better to kill her with fire. Almost, yes. Does this, does this you might be asking, well, does this character have a backstory? Yes, she does. Strangely. There we go. Fire. No. But if you want to believe it, she's the serial kiss killer's sister. Oh, shit. She is the serial killer's sister. Now I want to know the sister and the killer's backstory. Well, um... She's definitely the sister. Alright, so, yeah, that was Laura. That is not the only time you fight her. Well, okay. I didn't want to spoil it for you, but here it is. Um, so, her backstory, her and the serial killer's backstory is... Their dad was this dude who had, um, who had a reputation, let's just say, and he had also had a strong connections to this church that was, may or may not have had connections to a cult. 
Well, let's just say um, when the serial killer uh, when the serial killer one day um, some of the locals um, like came out uh, like came out against the church and the cult decided to you know burn the barn of the uh, of the owner of the barn. No, not him. Although we might see him in a minute. I forgot. No, it's not here. This is a one of the this is a weird run up here. There he is. Go home. Go home. Subject's case history cites developmental delays. Indicates issues with communication, social cognition, repetitive behaviors, signs of synesthesia reported. Genealogy suggests increased susceptibility to external stimuli, pattern adaptiveness. Could you be what I've been searching for all these years? And under my own nose, Unbelievable. There can be no mistake. This one is compatible. That's the serial killer. What in the hell? And that is apparently his brain. Oh. All right. All right. There's three of these guys. We got to pull this four out of each one of them. None, I would say. The guy who created this game essentially was going with all of the like modern horror tropes of the time. It was the idea of the game was to not take itself too seriously. It was essentially making fun of all of the American and Japanese horror tropes of the time. Japanese, by the way, Japanese horror is um, quite different from um, our horror. It's more, I'd like to say, surreal. Like, it's more the kind of stuff where you have to question everything in the game. Um... Yeah. It's it's on um It's on uh let's see, it's on the first game was on was a cross gen game. <laughs> The first game was a cross-gen game. It was like PS3 and PS... It was released on Has PS3, PS4. Did they do something to my head? You don't look well. You should take better care of yourself. It was on PS3, PS4, um, Xbox 360, and Xbox One. It was, a, it was an all-out cross-gen game. But... Um, 
PS3 version has some performance issues, like if you legitimately don't stop a cut, one of the cutscenes, it will crash on you. I have the PS3 version, um, and beat the PS3 version. This is the PS4 version that I'm playing right now. Not a whole lot of difference other than the minor performance issues and that the occasional crash. Um, the main game is like 20 bucks on the PS4. Um, I got the PS4 version for, on sale for like 10 bucks. Uh, that put um, PS5 games to shame. So, yeah, there's that. I've seen PS4 games that put PS5 games to shame as far as the way they look. You know, like the, the Resident Evil remakes, uh, the remake of Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3, they put um, the, uh, the way they look essentially just kind of is almost an insult to how PS5 looks. Or rather, maybe the other way around. Church floor collapses. Church floor collapses. No injuries. Witness, witness says miracle. Biggest church scandal to date. Floor of Cedar Hill Church collapses during renovations. Parishioner says it was a miracle. No one was injured. Photographs? Now we're going to get a completely different setting from where we were before. That sucks. I don't know how much I don't know what I can do about that, sadly. Good. Thank you. Let's see. Oh. So the lights went out. Nice. What was that sound? There are DLC episodes where you get to play as Julie Kidman. Uh, the problem with them is that they're kind of Um, they're kind of based more around stealth rather than, you know, I like this like action horror type of game where yes, you have to watch your resources, yes, you have to be careful about your about um, your use of
Oh my god. For some reason, the comments, like, went way up. Like, I'm around... Sebastian? 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 Something actually happened with the comment section. Uh. <laughs> it's like, back to where you asked, are those, uh, are those zombies? And uh, when I got you up to speed on the story. Ah. Well, at least I know you've got some new comment. At least I see the new com new comments, so. I still have a number of comments, strangely, which is 91. Same place as the photographs. Yeah, yeah. I was saying I, I like these, uh, I like this game because it was, uh, I don't even know why I was saying this, but I kind of like the uh, action horror approach of uh, this game, like with the, uh, you know, you have limited resources, yet, did I get everything from up there, or was I supposed to look at something? Okay. You still have limited resources, but there's a lot of action, and you get just enough resources to take care of that action. There are options for stealth, but um, you don't have to use the stealth route, especially if you're playing on the easy difficulty. I would say on normal and above, or rather, not normal, but, uh... I actually, by the way, I actually stumbled upon that, um... That, uh, statue by accident. I think I was talking about the... What the?
the one behind the body. Uh, there was a statue behind the body. I moved it. It's over here. Yes. Creepy body hanging by the window. There was a statue right behind it. I broke it. About to run into uh, one of uh, Sebastian's partners. It felt like it was about to crack open. But now it's like... I'm starting to get used to it. You seen Kidman? Before no. the before I shot the crate and ran around the house. Here. I must have blacked out or... Maybe I turned again. Inside. Let's go. Real, if you want to know, the guy that made this game. Another one. What, his name was Shinji Mikami, and uh, he essentially. He was the creator of Resident Evil. Well, he left um, Capcom, the company that essentially owns the, uh, the company that he was working for, and started doing stuff on his own. Uh, that hurts. Well, Resident, well. To be honest, um, this, the last Resident Evil game he made was Resident Evil 4, and if I'm being honest with you, in my opinion, this is more of a true sequel, this is a better, this being a spiritual sequel to Resident Evil 4 is a better sequel to Resident Evil 4. It blends the action and horror together perfectly. Um, you have to deal with hordes of enemies. But the hordes kind of have a... The hordes are actually creepy again. Resident Evil 5 wasn't wasn't really horror. It was more like um It was just kind of like Almost dead. Six was six was let's uh six was kind of like um six was kind of like let's take all the elements of. Let's take all the elements that are common in modern action games and um, that are successful, uh, that are in successful games of the day, and let's uh, let's make a game based specifically around all of the action elements that are successful today. No, I'm not dogging Resident Evil 6. I think Resident Evil 6 was a fine game. Some parts of it, at least. But... Uh, 
Um. It wasn't as horror as the earlier installments in the uh, series. There's twice as many of them. You've got time to complain. Maybe I did, I don't know. Sometimes I do. Sound like I'm from the Bronx. Six, though, is kind of like. I think it was a great game, but it wasn't a horror game, per se. Sometimes I... Sometimes. I think it... I think it's the New Orleans thing. They bite like zombies? Me playing at horror. Oh, you didn't like Resident Evil 6. Look at that. We can't keep going at this pace. I... I think we've got to get out of this place as fast as we can. Eh, but at the same tower? time, I had fun we playing with you, so... Anything's got to be better than staying here. Oh, you like Resident Evil 6, but you, you, uh, was it you that died a lot, or? Ah, oh, I missed the save point. Let's be careful. I, I think we should do, the next time we do play, I think we should do Ada's campaign. It's a fun, it's a fun little campaign, in my opinion. Although, I think we should start on chapter two because chapter one is total bullshit. Nothing but bullshit. Oh. Okay. And I am dead. Saul can be major. I li I lived a lot, but got you killed a lot. Eh, it's fine. I expect to die a lot in a horror game. I just... I think I've died twice. Since uh I started playing tonight, so how much longer am I needed here? Something that I actually haven't done that much of is recovering all the map pieces. Yeah, it was over the summer. I enjoyed it though. It was it was quite enjoyable. Uh, let's see.
2200 green gel is not enough to really do anything with. We will save, though. I gotta tell you, um, oh yeah, and I asked you a question about how much space the physical version of, um, Sly, the Sly 4 took up. Um, technically, I think if there was, like, an update file, I think I already had it installed on my, uh, on my, uh, disk, so it didn't take up any space at all. Hard drive space on my PS3 is something I actually have to, um, Hard drive, anyway, hard drive space on my PS3 is something I've got to be careful about. I've actually bought a lot of physical titles because of... Because of the fact that, um... Man, I forgot what I was saying. I guess I was focusing on what I was doing. Um, the, man. Yeah, um, I have like, the, the evil within my version, my PS3 version of The Evil Within is on, is, is soft copy, is digital copy. Um, My, I have bo Shit, okay. I apparently got their attention. Hey, let's do something about that. Ah. Oh. I can actually still do something about that though. Oh. All right. If I can get some enemies to come this way, that should work. Come this way. Oh. Shit. That. Well, the idea of um, the idea of laying him down gently has to do with the stealth aspect of the game. But stealth isn't exactly required. Yes. Yeah, you're giving an AI partner for like maybe 10% of the game. It's really not that significant. It's not a, the AI partner isn't that significant, but.
The smell of chicken. Okay, I didn't get that part. Oh. He's saying that human... Get the cover. They're shooting from above. Alright, so... We'll have to take them all out before we can get in. Hey, come in this way. Alright, fall into your own trap now. Apparently I fell into a trap too. So, gotta change my stuff around. Fight time. Did not mean to do that, but okay. Yeah, well, the arrows are kind of easy. Easy to avoid, but at the same time, uh, the idea is to trick the guy into coming out to shoot at you so that you can do that. We won't stand a chance if we don't take out those other guns. This game, like I said though, though as I was saying before, just so I have a, you know, the, uh, I think the guy, I think the guy from Resident Evil I think the idea that he was going at with this game was to make it so it so as to have a lot of replayability. It had a lot of replayability. Um, it has New Game Plus where you essentially get a rocket launcher. Maybe not an infinite rocket launcher, but your bon one of your bonuses for beating the game is a rocket launcher. We got a big boy here. Alright. So, you know what we do with big boys, huh? Yeah. Burn them. Yes, you get a you actually can get a rocket launcher for beating the game. It may not be an infinite you There's no other ammo for it in the game, but let's just say that those 20 rockets are enough to get you out of some... are enough to get you out of the tougher situations. Say for boss, the rocket launcher is great for boss battles, probably.
Nice. I got him. Alright, so... Okay, where's where's Joseph? Where's Joseph? We gotta heal his ass. Thankfully, that doesn't use health items. See the next spot I'm going to. Do I out of a closed door? Um, I, if I, I'm trying to understand your question here, dude, but uh, you might want to um, correct that one. me out of an axe. Alright, so now when you whenever you get into its range, it opens for a short coming out of the door up there. So, over here would be... There we go. 
See, the guy is behind the clothes. The door opens. When you killed one, the door closed and arrows continued to come from it. Well, the arrows actually came from it. The arrows came from it and uh, that's essentially why the boxes fall. Their boxes fall because they, for whatever reason, they stay, um, they keep winding the thing even though their head's probably blown off at the time. And uh, somehow the arrows make the, watch this. Yeah. If they were still coming out of the out of the door, it was probably a glitch. Should stand in the way of getting to the tower now. I always like to check around a little bit just because you know there might be something. Like, uh, enemies leave the green gel, and the green gel allows me to upgrade myself. Or rather... And the, uh... Nothing should stand in the way of getting to the tower now. Ah, I get it. You only get to choose one. Nice. <coughs> Alright. By the way, don't worry about my cough. I, uh... I've been having a cough. Checked my temperature last night, or the night before. Once I noticed the cough, nothing. We are going to craft some bolts. No. Wait. Boss fight time. Chainsaw guy. Or rather mini boss time because this is not the only chainsaw guy, and he's dead. Let's be careful. It could be full of them. Well, the abilities that you enhance are generically like your health, your, uh, your sprint time, because believe it or not, you have a limited sprint meter, which I think is kind of BS. The elevator is stopped at the top. Let's look for another way up. I hear the music again. There's a save room somewhere around here. Perhaps it's set in a fictional city called Crimson City. Um, can't tell you where um, Crimson City is. Don't know, honestly. 
we got another note here. Probably more into this man's life. Eight months since Myra and I were married, and you, eight months since Myra and I were married, and you, little Lily, are the result of our love. You know what that means, right? Yeah. I can't wait for two months to pass so that I can finally meet you. But I must admit that I am, but I must admit that I'm scared. I face countless dangers in my job, but knowing that I'm going to be a dad is the scariest thing of all. I promise to you, I promise to love you and to protect you with every fiber of my being as long as I am in this world. I will enter this stage of my life the same way I do every important task. With a full heart and the desire to do the best that I can. Just know that your mother and I love you ever already and cannot wait to welcome you into this sometimes harsh world. Okay, eight months. She's not, qu she's not born yet. <laughs> All right. So let's let's go upgrade our abilities. And I'm gonna try to finish chapter six, if at all possible. Don't think I got a key. But I could use one of those. Okay. Okay. KCPD officer missing. Search underway for missing detective. Crimson City Police Detective Myra Castellanos, 36. Something like that, yeah. Crimson City Police Detective Myra Castellanos. By the way, Myra Castellanos, the wife of our protagonist, Sebastian Castellanos, 36, has been reported missing, though she was, uh, though she w though she was on duty at the time, a police spokesperson denies connection to any investigation she was involved in. Her husband and superior officer, Sergeant Cavastian Co Sebastian Castellan no, Castellanos, had no comment. We'll upgrade something. Oh, that's right. We got a decent amount of green gel from the chainsaw guy. Well, I have to make a big spoiler into um, Evil Within 2 in order to say that, which I haven't played yet, I still know the story of. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm one of those people that read the end of the book before I actually... Alright. Um, okay, if you want to know, you know that, comp you know that, um, organization that I said Julie Kidman was working for? Um, essentially the one bent, hell bent on world domina domination. Well, yeah, the, uh, that organization, she's working for it. Did you actually, uh, did you actually look it up? Uh, 
she uh, she technically I don't know she's pro I think she is dead currently but we don't really know whether or not she's actually dead I think she is though I think she is Well, believe it or not, she's not working for the villain. She's actually working for it for to actually save their daughter because her daughter, their daughter, believe it or not, the disappearance of her daughter has to do with um is connected to the this to the evil organization. Honestly though, I don't really care about cliched stories as long as it's as long as it's still enjoyable. They, they, I mean, honestly there are a lot of cliches and stories today, but um some people just make it work somehow. Oh no. I hate this part. Do you think Kidman is okay? I don't like that they used her as bait. Almost like someone's toying with us. Hang in there. Just a little further. Yeah, I mean, when it actually doesn't make sense, but in this case, it kind of makes sense because she's actually just an undercover agent, you know, trying to find out what happened to their daughter and also knowing... There are only two. We can take them. No, that's not... I hate this part. Damn, I hate this part. Gotta work fast. Joseph. Okay. I'm fine. No need to worry. It, it, like I said, um, yeah, it doesn't make sense when they become actually evil, like Penelope did. But when they, you know, when they're actually going undercover, I think I think it makes sense. I think it's okay to have the cliche in that case. But that's my opinion. I'm perfectly fine left. with cliches, but... Huh? The hell? It's just a matter of time. It's better this way. What the fuck?
Cover me. Let's go. Yup. Well, he's afraid that whatever's out there is going to take over him, too. Joseph, are you all right? I... I... Yeah. Well, you might be, you know... That might be what you say right now, but... You might not say that if you actually, um... If you're actually in the situation, or if you actually have something to live for. I'm not saying you don't have anything to live for. I'm saying that, like, say, let's say you have a wife and kids, because basically what you're saying right now is basically just suicide. And you're basically just suiciding yourself into the. By the way, I was not saying that you don't have anything to live for right now. Okay, I was saying, I was simply saying that you know. Usually, when a person has wife this and kids like some and whatnot. Kind of um, like you know, it usually gives them, uh, you know, more of a reason to push on in situations like that. I would just try to, um, I would just try to save them. So that's how you do it. Okay. Euthanasia. By the way, taking them out first so they don't have to live through it, that's euthanasia. Euthanize your, uh, your wife and, so you'll, so what you're saying is you're, you're essentially going to euthanize your wife and kids and then kill, and then kill yourself. Who said that death is inevitable? Proud. And I thought intelligent, but he was also pious, a believer. Somehow he always supported the church no matter what the newspaper said. He waved away the allegations as if they were infallible. The wretched, the vermin, the stern, all were taken in by that church. They were promised salvation and eternal life. But there's nothing they could promise that I couldn't take away. Eh. Depends. You know, if you ever see, um, in my opinion, probably the most realistic idea of a zombie apocalypse is in the game The Last of Us. It wasn't just a cliched zombie apocalypse story. It was actually a, a heartfelt story that kind of hit, hit right where it kind of, if I'm being honest, um, you're probably going to say that this is not at all, um, you're probably going to say that I, uh, That this is this that this isn't a good sign, but 
How the hell do I get back there? But I actually cried during the opening se- I almost cried during the opening sequence of The Last of Us. And you'll often find that the you'll you'll often find that um in cases where there is a zombie apocalypse per se, the real danger is not as much the zombies but the other people that are still alive. Where do you suppose we are? More like when? This architecture seems straight out of the Middle Ages. Yeah, but there's electricity. Elevators. This place can't be real. It's like jumbled up memories. Heavy shit. Well, uh, the heavy shit comes from, let's just say the guy essentially... I'm going to spoil the beginning. The guy, the main protagonist of the game loses his daughter in tragic fashion in, not from zombies, but to the military. And the bullet was meant for him. I plan on streaming The Last of Us one of these days, so you'll get to see it eventually. Uh, I'll let you know when I do stream it so you get to see it. It's not, uh, trust me when I say it's not just another generic zombie story. It's a, it's a really heavy game. Is this what it was like, Seb? After the accident? Well, I never put a gun to my head. No, of course not. Just quietly sank into a bottle. We can't all be perfect. It never affected my work. But hey, you read the IA report. You know I didn't report you because I was worried about your work, Sebastian. <laughs> what else is there? Hmm? We don't have time for this. I need my partner here. <clears throat> well, just to say, the thing about the zombie... It, yeah, you're right. It is, but... Find something? Um, Maybe. It addresses... lack of records on cash donations and spending by the parish. Missing, Pastor, Pastor Salvador Graziano. Pastor Graziano and several parishioners at Cedar Hill Church are missing. The church has been locked up tight since they disappeared. I, you know, because I figure the stream is going to last, I plan the stream to last about two hours, and from, essentially from 10 to midnight, and it's midnight now, and I'm at a save point. Hmm. Probably lag. Not sure. Anyway, um, as uh, what I was just saying was that, uh, um, I plan for the stream to last from 10 to midnight, and it's midnight now, 
and I played for almost two hours, so um, I think I'm going to call it a night here. Um, so uh, thanks for joining in. Your uh, comments certainly help, you know, base the discussion on something other than, like, how to go about playing the game. Because, believe it or not, when you're not around, I try to just give small trivia bits on the game, and I try to, uh, you know, say, this is here, that's there, that's there, you know, blah, 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 blah. But, honestly, uh... When, when you're in the comments section, I appreciate it because it actually helps give me something to talk about. So, thank you for watching. And, uh, um, as I, as I said last time, I'm doing, I am doing, I'm doing, like I said, you know, if you can make it, you, you, if you can make it, you know, uh, if you can make it, great. If not, it's okay, you know. If you don't feel like it, it's okay too, you know. I am doing a stream. Vita stream is on Tuesdays from 9.30 to 11.30. And PS4 stream every Saturday night from 10 to 12. Unless I've got something, some big plans for either day. Then I'll probably say something in advance. That's my new schedule though I'm actually starting this Tuesday what I consider to be you know I I did I did home this past Tuesday and it was enjoyable quite enjoyable but um it was kind it kind of okay if I'm not boring you, I'm going to talk a little bit about the Vita. It had a sad lifespan because, sadly, um, it covered... Because it didn't have a lot, a, a ton of games outside of four arguably niche genres of games. And those were um, JRPGs, visual novels, which are usually anime-styled, um... Uh, indie games and fighting games. Well, I did an indie game um, for the past stream, for the last stream, and uh, the next, my next stream, I'm actually going to cover what I consider to be, what I consider to be the objective best Vita game, which is Gravity Rush. Um, starting this coming Tuesday. So, um, there were, there weren't a lot of amazing Vita games, just outright amazing Vita games that weren't ports of other things. Gravity Rush was a great Vita game that wasn't a port of another game, uh, that wasn't a port. Or a remake. Anyway. Um, anyway, so starting this Saturday, I'm going to play, I mean, this Tuesday, I'm going to be playing Gravity Rush. And, uh, it's, it, it's a good game. Out of the probably 20 decent original titles for the Vita, I think it's probably the best. Anyway, you have a good one, my friend. And, uh, this is Justinian the Great, signing off.